Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. <laughs> You're smiling. Anyways, I hope everybody is doing ibadat, dhikr, good deeds, praying salah on time, reading Quran and especially dua. Let's go <laughs> in a little more detail in dua. Samiha. Did you know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Dua is the weapon of a believer. Just like a weapon protects you from enemies, dua protects you from shaitan." Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day: learn one name of Allah and invoke Him with it. Al Asma al Husna are the ninety nine most beautiful names and attributes of Allah. Samiha, did you know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that Allah has ninety nine names, i.e., one hundred minus one, and whoever knows them will go to paradise. Yeah. So, do you want to learn the ninety nine names with me? Yeah. Do you want to go to Jannah with me as well? So, if we learn the ninety-nine names of Allah, we will go to Jannah. Now, let's move on to Hadith. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anhu, an Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Qala atadruna malqiba." Qala Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Qala dhikruka akhaka bima yakra. Kila afara eta in kana fi aki ma akulu kala in kana fi hima takulu fakoda taptahu wa in lam yakum fi hi fakoda bahatta. Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do you know what backbiting is? The companion said, Allah and His Messenger know better. Thereupon he said, backbiting is talking about your Muslim brother in a manner which he dislikes. It was said to him, what if my Muslim brother is as I say? He وسلم, replied, if he is not actually as you say, then that is backbiting. But if that is not in him, that is slandering. So Sumiha, do you know what backbiting is? Let me tell you, backbiting is when you're talking about someone when they don't see or behind their back. I was about to, I was about to say that. <laughs> and if what you're saying about them behind their back is not true, then that is called slandering. And that's not good, okay? That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good deed. Th- that is. No, it's not. <laughs> Now let's have a look at the lessons of the hadith. Number one, we are not allowed to backbite, which means to mention our Muslim brother in a way that he dislikes. Number two, backbiting is one cause of hatred among people. Number three, we should not say untrue things, slander, about our fellow Muslims or people in general. Number four, we should always mention our Muslim brother in a manner which he likes. Okay. okay. Now let's move on to the discussion section. Samiha, I'm going to ask you a few questions and you're going to answer them. Okay. Number one, what is one of the things that Allah dislikes most? Cousins. Backbiting. Mm. So Allah dislikes backbiting the most. Okay. Okay. But Number that's it. I don't know all of those ones. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Number two. Can we tell other people bad things about our friend, even if it is true? Yeah, no, that's bad. Yeah. Number three. How should we always talk about other people? Nicely. Yeah, we should say good things about them. Mm-hmm. And we should talk about not them in... Not mean things, not mean words. Yeah, we should talk about them in a manner which he likes. Mm-hmm. Now that we've finished Hadith, let's so, move on to so Surah Learning Time. time. 
So, Simiha, remember yesterday I taught you Surah Al Quraysh. Now you're going to say it by yourself. Start with A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Kul Hullahu Wahad. Huh? No. <laughs> Kul Ah. No. Li Ila Fi Quraysh. Oh, Li Ila Fi Quraysh. Ila Fi Him. Rahid Al Shaitan Wal Saif. Fali Abudu Rabba Hadha Al Bayit. الذين هم عدانهم الذي أطعمهم نعمهم الذي عدانهم من جوء وآمنوا من خوف وآمنوا وآمنهم من خوف وآمنهم من خوف لكن شيء جم إي نو لي 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 لا في قريش إي لا فيهم رحت الشيطان والصيف فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي أتى عنهم من جوء وآمنهم من خوف Well done Samiha, mashallah You have quickly corrected your mistakes Now we're going to end the video But before we end the video my sister needs to tell you something Remember what I said before? We are going to learn the 99 names of Allah. You can learn the 99 names of Allah as well. Let me mention seven of them. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Mu'min, Al-Muhaymin, Al-Aziz, Al-Jabbar, Al-Mutakabbir, and Al-Quddus. Now we have to end the video. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Assalamu alaikum everyone.